Hi and welcome to this video on the circulatory system. There are other videos, quizzes and past papers on the website which is www.elevise.co.uk or there is a link in the description which will take you through to the website. Blood is pumped around the circulatory system which is made up of the heart and many types of blood vessels. The travelling blood picks up substances at certain locations and unloads them at other locations on the circulatory system. For example, oxygen and carbon dioxide is taken around the circulatory system. Oxygen goes into the bloodstream of the lungs and it is taken to other parts of the body where it is needed for the respiration reaction. The respiration reaction produces carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide enters the bloodstream at cells where the respiration reaction takes place. It then travels in the bloodstream to the lungs where it enters the lungs and then it is breathed out. The word equation for respiration is glucose plus oxygen. They react together to form carbon dioxide, water and energy. Another substance that travels in the circulatory system is nutrients. Nutrients travel from the gut to all over the body. And a final example is hormones. Hormones enter the bloodstream at various locations and they travel to various other locations. An example of a hormone is follicle stimulating hormone, or FSH. FSH is secreted by the pituitary gland. It travels in the bloodstream and causes an egg to mature in the ovary of a woman. So that's a very short introduction to what a circulatory system is. But why do humans actually have a circulatory system? Well, humans have a circulatory system for two different reasons. The first reason is that we have a small surface area to volume ratio. This means that we will be unable to take in the substances in sufficient quantities to allow us to survive. However, smaller organisms have a greater surface area to volume ratio. This means that they are able to take in the substances in sufficient quantities to be able to survive. For example, a paramecium is a single celled organism. It has a large surface area to volume ratio, which means it can take in substances in sufficient quantities in order to survive. The second reason why humans have a circulatory system is because the distances in the human body are too large. With a paramecium, the distances are very small. The paramecium is only about 0.25 millimeters long. This means that substances that the paramecium needs to survive are able to get where they are needed by diffusion and they get there in sufficient quantities to allow the paramecium to survive. Whereas with humans, the distances that substances would have to travel is too great, and this would mean that substances would reach certain places in less than sufficient quantities if it was left to diffusion rather than a circulatory system. Humans have evolved to have a circulatory system so that substances can be transported around the body. Some examples of substances that we take around the body were listed at the start of this video, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients and hormones. So to summarise, the two reasons why we have a circulatory system is because the human body has a small surface area to volume ratio and the distances in the human body are too large. So this brings us to the end of this video. For more content, quizzes and past papers, go on to www.elevise.co.uk or click the link in the description below.